Hey everybody, welcome back to the Here to See channel. Got another hair journal for you. Psalms chapter 49, Psalms, the book of sacred songs. The Here to See channel always focused on sharing pearls of wisdom, nuggets of knowledge, understanding the difficult, and instructions for a better life. We're reading through Psalms, the entire book, a chapter at a time, and doing a hair journal on each chapter. Hair journaling is a method that many find edifying to their personal relationship with the Lord. Check out replicate.org to learn more about hair journaling. But now, let's read and listen to Psalm chapter 49 in the New Living Translation from the YouVersion Bible app, and then I'll share my hair journal with you. Psalm 49. Listen to this, all you people. Pay attention, everyone in the world. High and low, rich and poor, listen. For my words are wise, and my thoughts are filled with insight. I listen carefully to many proverbs, and solve riddles with inspiration from a harp. Why should I fear when trouble comes, when enemies surround me? They trust in their wealth and boast of great riches, yet they cannot redeem themselves from death by paying a ransom to God. Redemption does not come so easily, for no one can ever pay enough to live forever and never see the grave. Those who are wise must finally die, just like the foolish and senseless, leaving all their wealth behind. The grave is their eternal home, where they will stay forever. They may name their estates after themselves, but their fame will not last. They will die, just like animals. This is the fate of fools, though they are remembered as being wise. Like sheep they are led to the grave, where death will be their shepherd. In the morning the godly will rule over them. Their bodies will rot in the grave, far from their grand estates. But as for me, God will redeem my life. He will snatch me from the power of the grave. So don't be dismayed when the wicked grow rich and their homes become ever more splendid. For when they die, they take nothing with them. Their wealth will not follow them into the grave. In this life, they consider themselves fortunate and are applauded for their success. But they will die like all before them and never again see the light of day. People who boast of their wealth don't understand. They will die just like animals. And that was Psalm chapter 49 in the New Living Translation from the Version Bible app. Now for my hair journal. First the highlight. Psalm chapter 49 verses 16 to 20. Verse 16. So don't be dismayed when the wicked grow rich and their homes become ever more splendid. For when they die they take nothing with them. Their wealth will not follow them into the grave. In this life they consider themselves fortunate and are applauded for their success. But they will die like all before them and never again see the light of day. People who boast of their wealth don't understand. They will die just like animals. So, what's the explan or what's my explanation? The psalmist explains that the wicked may appear to be living large with wealth, fame, and power. This condition is temporary. They will eventually die and face the Lord with no excuse. So, what's the application for us today? The wicked appear to be living large with wealth, fame, and power. However, our, we know that this is temporary. They will eventually die and face the Lord with no excuse. Better to accept the Lord Jesus as Lord and Savior, to live each day in His peace and joy with the promise of living eternally with Him in the glorious new heaven and earth that he is preparing for us. John chapter 17 verse 3 And this is eternal life, 
that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Jeremiah chapter 9 verse 23, 24. Thus says the Lord, let not the wise man boast in his wisdom, let not the mighty man boast in his might, let not the rich man boast in his riches, but let him who boasts boast in this, that he understands and knows me, that I am the Lord who practices steadfast love, justice, and righteousness in the earth. For these things I delight, declares the Lord. Psalm 119 verse 105. Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path. 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 18. But grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To Him be the glory, both now and to the day of eternity. Amen. Philippians chapter 3, verse 10. That I may know Him and the power of His resurrection and may share his sufferings, becoming like him in his death. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 17. I love those who love me, and those who seek me diligently find me. 1 John chapter 3, verse 6. No one who abides in him keeps on sinning. No one who keeps on sinning has either seen him or known him. 1 John chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. We are from God. Whoever knows God listens to us. Whoever is not from God does not listen to us. By this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God, and whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. John chapter 14, verse 6. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So, what's my response? Lord, thank you for my salvation. Help me, Lord, not to be distracted from the things you want me focused on. I strive to follow you faithfully and obediently always forever. I pray for those that are distracted that they may be drawn to you and accept you as their Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. And now, how about you? Why don't you try some hair journaling, highlight, explain, apply, and respond. You'll be glad you did. Comment below, share your experiences with us. And if you don't know Jesus as Savior, read the Gospel of John chapter 3 to learn about His forgiveness. And talk to God about it. You can talk to God about anything. He loves you. Seek Him now. God bless.